Hi Sophie, I thought I'd make you a video um, because covering all of this in an email will take me weeks to write down. Um, usually I book in for a strategy session and we can go through this together, um, but you said email would be easier, so I'm doing your video. Um, usually we should sit together and it takes half an hour up to an hour to figure it all out. Um, thankfully we've worked with accountants and bookkeepers um, and taxation specialists before, and unfortunately I can already tell you it's not going to be cheap just because there's so much competition out there and your margins on your services and products are usually quite high so you can afford to pay more for a lead. Um, but firstly, the website, great that you're talking to Vicky, um, it definitely needs an update because if you spend money either on search engine optimization uh, to have your site ranked higher organically, you pay for that. So if people click on uh, your link on Google when they find you, you really want that site to convert. Same with AdWords, if you pay for the click, you really want them um, to contact you as soon as they get on, onto your website. I really like that your website actually has this dark maroon red because pretty much every accountant and taxation specialist site I ever see is always blue and white. Um, they always say the same thing that they're creating uh, your wealth. So really, really try to get a USP, unique selling point. Why are you better than the other 100 tax accounting agents in Brisbane? So uh, the 20 years, I would really make this big, um, maybe have a no obligation um, strategy session, whatever you like to do, and look at your competitors. So you might have done that already. I've, I've Googled a few people in Brisbane, really an associate accountants. It's not that uh, this is the most wonderful site. However, they have a phone number on their head out. They've got this very easy uh, first name, phone number, so they can call them. 20% of all tax returns, end of financial year sale. Uh, sounds fantastic if you scroll down here. They've got a video on here, which should be probably even further up. That will help convert because people are more likely to watch videos and you can also use it in your advertising. Um, they've got testimonials on the site, um, which just works on authority. So if I've never heard of you before and there's testimonials on the site, people are more likely to contact you. And a st strong call to action button. So please call, fill out an inquiry form, call here. Um, pretty good. Harris Black, uh, surprisingly orange, couldn't believe it. But our partners straight away know that they're working with Zero, Maya B. Um, maybe I know that you're working, I think, with QuickBooks. So put that on your website. Anything which makes it for people easier to choose to contact you over these people um, will really work. Empire Accountants, um, also a much fresher theme, probably built on WordPress. I know that Magic Dust is building on WordPress, so it would be great. Uh, 2016 Queensland finalist, uh, Tess Australian Business Award, that sounds uh, amazing. Just have a look what they're doing and just copy it, um, but get really on the USP. Looking um, at your SEO, what has been done so far, so I run you through this software called SEM Rush, and it tells me in Australia how your um, organic search looks like. So this line here, the blue line is your traffic organically, and the orange line is your traffic Per, um, pay per click. So you haven't done any paid advertising at the moment and you don't have much traffic to the website. This is not completely accurate, it just gives you an idea usually. Your Google Analytics would tell you more. Um, however, at the moment you are organically ranking only for three keywords, which is these three. So I don't think, unless you have a huge budget, SEO is your first way to go simply because you want to rank for at least, uh, say, 50 keywords. So accountant, accountants, bookkeepers, book, bookkeeper, best bookkeeper, accountant in Brisbane, uh, taxation specialist Brisbane. So there's like a million keywords you want to rank for. And if you decide on, let's say, 50, um, it will take a while to convince Google that you are relevant to any search term. So Google gives you brownie points for a few things. First of all, for your website, but we will have that sorted with Vicky, which is great. But um, then also creating content, having links from other websites to your site, from your site to other websites, and a lot of technical stuff. But even if you pay um, an SEO company $1,000 a month, and that's usually the minimum. I mean, some people pay five to $10,000 a month for SEO work, but let's say you pay 1,000, and let's work, we work on account in Brisbane. Brisbane, because there's 1,600 people in average searching for this keyword per month in Australia. And at the moment, you're in position 67 on Google, which means you're in the middle of the seventh page. So that doesn't convert into sales because people are not clicking through seven uh, pages on Google before they call an accountant, or very unlikely. So let's say we work on that for uh, maybe six months and we get you from rank 67 to rank 27 which would be an amazing work by any SEO company, getting you 40 ranks up in six months, if that's even possible, to be honest. 
but you're still on the third page and that still doesn't result into um, any sales. So you would have to do SEO for at least 12 months, which is a cash flow issue, I believe. Maybe it isn't. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you do have the budget put aside. Um, that you might have spent six or 12 grand and haven't gotten any sale from that yet. I mean, as soon as your keywords enter the first page, of course, the clicks are free and then uh, we're rolling. Happy days. But with this kind of start, it's going to take a very, very, very long time. Most people, most accounts will probably rank for 300, 400 keywords, uh, depending on where, of course, probably not in position one. So that's usually the average. Three keywords is really a blank page. I mean, it has it's good things because there's no dodgy work been done on your site. Um, you don't have any dodgy backlinks. If I'm looking into your backlink profile, which is this one here, you do have 25 backlinks, um, which is fine. They're not absolutely fantastic. So you can see here, these pink things are the links linking to your site. Um, this is the power of Google, how, how Google thinks how powerful these links are, and this is how much they think they're trusted. So these ones down here are actually not great. This one is quite good. Uh, this little link here, um, that comes from a trusted site. I can actually check where these links are coming from. So you've got a backlink from Gold Coast Accountants, which is good and powerful. Um, they might be at the bottom of the page, not the greatest backlinks here, so work.com.au or SVC lookup, might be directories, they might be outdated, so they Google doesn't like these, but these these links up here, they're great, so you just need a lot, a lot more of it to organically rank. So saying that, let's see, I'd probably rather have you spent six or ten grand on AdWords um, and make you six or ten grand back in the first three months. Um, it is more expensive, but it gives you an instant return of investment. However, if you if you think um, you can just figure it out with five hundred or thousand dollars a month, you're unfortunately mistaken. And it's not that um, we're an agency or any other other agency maybe say um, we're too big. We only work with you if you spend that and that amount of money. I would totally work with you if I could make it work for five hundred dollars. But I show you why it's why why that's not going to work. Um, I put a few things uh, through the keyword planner. So I can ask, let me just change this here. So I've asked Google um, on how many people an average per month in Brisbane, if you see it here, searching for the, the um, keyword accountant, tax agent, and bookkeeping. I could make that up, but it gives me a good idea. So in July, there's, July, there's a lot of people searching for it. Um, I wonder why, end of financial year. But it gives you here the exact average monthly searches. So accountant, there's 1,300 people per month searching in Brisbane for the word accountant. Uh, it gives you also an, like a thing of how many people are um, bidding on this keyword. So this competition is medium. So the suggested bid is $10. This bid means that's how much Google suggests your click is going to cost. So you have to imagine if your click, cost per click on a natural deodorant is 50 cents, you can buy a lot of clicks for $500. If your click costs $10, you can't buy many clicks. That's why it's so expensive. Bookkeeping is $12, tax agents is $16. Um, it also gives you a few keywords here by relevance. Bookkeeping services is $17, unbelievable. But the average um, monthly search volume is smaller, so only 140 people searching for it. Um, is there, so there's low competition here, CPA. Chartered accountant, I think that is. So I'm just not sure how many people searching for this are actually searching for an accountant. Um, so you just have to look through here that you don't lose the average search volume because if only 10 people are searching for it, it doesn't matter if it's cheap, you won't get any clicks on that. And it's a kind of a bit of a waste of a time. So I would look through here and pick and choose what keywords um, we would be searching for or bidding on. However, it works on adverts very simple. You run at least 80 ads against each other because you want to show up your ads for any keyword they're, they're typing in. And let's say um, they click on your ad and you pay $10 for a click. It could be that um, we buy 100 clicks and then we know out of average every 10th person who clicked on your website will call you or fill out your contact form. That means that call or the, that contact form costs you $100. If you then tell me, or oh, only every th every third person who called us or filled out a contact form actually buys with us, that means that sale cost you three hundred dollars. If that sale only makes you three hundred dollars, AdWords is not going to work for you. But it could be that we find some search terms where the click is only one dollar or seventy-seven cents, 
that means you can buy 100 clicks for $100 and if every 10th person calls you on average, it means that that call only cost you $10 and the sale cost you $30. So we really need to know the numbers and your margins and if there are services you might make more money off. Um, your average client vi value, so for lifetime value, so if somebody engages you for their tax, are they most likely to engage you in the next year for the tax? And do they usually stay with you for five years, 10 years? Or do they need your book hearing services once a month um, for three years? So that means that even if the first sale doesn't give you what you spent to acquire that customer, it might work out in the long term because even if you spent $300 and it only made you $300 in the first service buy, in the next month they buy it again and they buy it again. So we really need to crunch the numbers and have a conversation here. I'm not quite sure how that works over email. I mean, we, we can definitely try. Maybe you can make me a video too. Um, so we kind of know um, where to go. But this is mainly the reason why AdWords is going to be so expensive. So just to give you an idea, I probably believe you have to spend at least three and a half to five grand a month. Um, that's included our management fee, but our management fee a month is only $1,200. So the most chunk of any money you will always spend is always going to be on Google or Facebook or any pay-per-click advertising platform. Unfortunately, they have the monopoly and they can charge whatever they want. And especially in your industry, they charge <laughs> a lot. Lawyers are even worse, but there's a lot of industry where it's a lot cheaper. So happy uh, to have another chat. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Sorry, I also forgot to mention, um, quite importantly, um, of course, if we spent that amount of money, we need to know how much services we need to sell, how much contact inquiries or phone calls we need to get to make it worth your while. Also very important, um, according to a study, recently only 15% of your leads will be able to buy from you in the first one to three months after they inquired with you. 85% are buying over two years. So if you, if you can't manually follow up with all the leads for two years, and to be honest, who can do that these days, you really need a working CRM. So it would be very important um, what you have on the back end as a CRM, automated email systems, nurturing sequences, what happens when, uh, so you don't lose touch with your customers. And we can also help with that. So just let me know if you are in need for anything like that or what CRM you have running in the background. Thanks.